Good morning. It's early. Monday morning. This is the passage I found. It's Luke. But he replied, Lord, I am ready to go with you to prison and to death. Jesus answered, I tell you, Peter, before the cock crows today, you will deny three times that you know me. Then, Jesus asked them, when I sent you without purse, bag, or sandals, did you lack anything? Nothing, they answered. He said to them, but now, if you have a purse, take it, and also a bag. And if you don't, have a sword, sell your cloak, and buy one. It is written, and he was numbered with the transgressors. And I tell you that this must be fulfilled in me. Yes, what is written about me is reaching its fulfillment. The disciples said, See, Lord, here are two swords. That is enough, he replied. I've always found that passage strange. Peter and Paul. Peter has the keys to heaven, but so, uh, Paul has the sword, doesn't he? That's, that's the symbolism. Old David Livingston, Dr. David Livingston up in Edinburgh, he's got a pistol by his side. What do they need swords for? And Christ said, that's fine, have two swords. Two swords is good. What are they going to have to use swords for? Not, you know, not clipping the nails, are they? Well, anyway, that's the passage I found. So, after the Last Supper, because he knows trouble's coming in Christ, but it would imply that he's suggesting, Christ is suggesting, using those swords fight because he knows he's going to be crucified strange that anyway I'm afraid I always just had turned the other cheek and every single hair on the head of your fellow man is precious and special therefore you can never kill or commit any acts of violence, violence and Christ never committed any acts of violence apart from the overturning of the money and his tables in the temple because they were desecrating God's house by making money so if you want to find a reason why the Roman Catholics are not Christian there, there it is I went to Santiago de Compostela, St. James in Spain, and huge, great expressions of a cathedral built there. And there was a Roman, some objects or something like this, and a you know, little sort of verger type counting his money on the table, and I wanted to get in, so I just walked in. And he says, Give me the money. So I went to his table and I flipped the money off it. That's what the Roman Catholics still do in spades. They think they've got the only answer that we'll forgive your sins but give us the money. It's the same old story as with Martin Luther. Nothing's changed. Indulgences he railed against. I love you, my Lord. All my heart and all my soul and all my mind and all my strength.